Okay, we can embrace it. We're old. <laughs> Candace and Sil, first questions will come. First questions will come from your right. Hi. Who got the ball in the open court? Did you know you were gonna dunk, or when you got to the basket, did you just went up for it? Like, what was yeah, what was going through your mind in that moment? Um, I think I just heard the momentum of the, the crowd. Mm -hmm. um, I probably heard a couple of benches and seen a couple of faces on the other team, and I was like, just go for it. Uh, but it was just in a moment. I didn't really think about it. And Candace, what you guys all had a huge reaction. So yeah, watching it on the court, can you just tell us what, what you all were thinking? I don't even remember who I was standing next to, but <laughs> it was like, they were like, uh oh, she gonna do it. I'm like, no, we're old. And then right when I was like, oh, about to finish old, she threw it down and I was like, well, now her nickname is Sylvia Tom Brady Fowles because now she's going to come back for another year because you can't dunk and then not come back. Like, Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> Next question, second row to your right. Uh, Candace, I know there's been a lot of focus on um, rightfully so Sill and Sue having their this being their last all star game. But you did say at the beginning of the season that you were going into this season thinking about retirement after the season. Have you thought about it all about nope, like this? she haven't thought about it. I answered the question for you. Mm -mm. <laughs> She's not thinking about it. I'm not. I told you it's going to be the off season when I know when I go to lift my leg over that Peloton and it doesn't go up and I don't want to get on it. That's when I'm going to that. That's it. So, no, I just really have been focusing on all star festivities, Syl and Sue and what they've meant to this game. Um, individually, for me, you always have to raise your game when you play with Syl when you play against Syl, and we've been playing against each other for a long, long time. time. Long. It's been crazy, it's long. We got but it's been amazing. And one last follow-up. After Syl threw it down, was there any part of you that wanted to do it as well? No, she did it for the both of us. <laughs> she did it for all of us. I was begging her in the locker room. Nope. I was like, you have to do it. She was That's like, it. I'm old. I'm like, yes, you can. You it's... still can do it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. True. True. She's faking us out. That's what it is. Nick Next Hamilton, question, uh, row two in the center. Go ahead. Nick Hamilton, Nightcast Media. Uh, congratulations to you both. Uh, I want to ask you both this question. Candace, what is the best advice you got from Sylvia? And Sylvia, what is the best advice you got from Candace? So I'm a big um, do as they do and not as they say, because I think a lot of people say a lot of stuff. But Syl, man, she does it every single day. You know it's going to be a battle every time you you play against her. So on offense, you know you're going to have to guard the duck in, and then you're going to have to turn around and guard the rebound because she's an amazing offensive rebounder. And then you're going to come down, and you're going to have to, you know, make things difficult for her on the other side. And so I just, listen, uh, I think it's just watching somebody, and that's that's all the advice I've gotten, just battling with her and watching her growth. and. I mean, if you think about it, I'm sorry, I'm going off a tangent, but we're the one and two pick, and I don't think there's that much that's separate. I mean, like, think about it. Points, championships, I mean, like, it's been unbelievable to play against you for all these years. And so just honestly, the advice I've gotten is just watching her because she really makes me, like, level up my game. And it's the same. It's mutual. Um, Candace is very finesse, very skilled. Um, nothing like... I, something I ever seen in a post player. Um, and she bring it every night. And I, I think people don't give her credit for that. Um, yes, she can win. Yes, she can score points, but it's how she lead too. She came from two different organizations and she lead. And um, that's something that you can always respect about a play. And I love the way she carry herself as well. So that's the way I can say that she, she taught me. Next question, second row to your left. And uh, congratulations uh, uh, and on the, another All Star. Um, you know this is this one's for for Cell. Um, I know they had asked um, in the pregame, or not the pregame, but um, on Saturday about all time uh, All Star moments. Um, generic question alert: Where does that dunk rank, especially uh, given <laughs> that it's your last? Um, outside of the dunk, I think Chicago did a really good job hosting All Star Weekend. I mean, from beginning to end. Uh, it was nonstop festivities, and um, 
you haven't seen that in the All-Star weekend in a long time. And so I would say this All-Star in general uh, ranks by far one of the most best ones I had throughout my eight All-Stars. Yeah. Next question, first row to your right. USA Today, um, I'd like both of you to answer this. You all had talked about wanting to center uh, BG throughout this weekend. Um, wondering how you think that went, and especially when you all came out for the second half wearing her jersey, knowing that's on national TV, what kind of message do you think, or that, do you hope that they sent seeing that? I mean, I think the WNBA has always done a great job of um, keeping what's important important. Uh, I think, you know, obviously wearing the jersey um, is a small part, I think, in what we're all doing and what we're trying to do, which is bring her, bring her home. Um, you know, her wife's sitting courtside and it's just, I can't even imagine, you know, um, what her family and what, what she's going through. So I think the entire weekend has been centered around how can we amplify our voices and get her back as soon as possible. Right. Um, I think it speaks volume and what we can do as a unit. Um, we're not out here trying to do it by ourselves and we know when we stick together as a group and. I say this all the time, you know, when women get their mind set on something, we're gonna always achieve what we need to get done because we're just as stubborn. And I think the message this weekend is just making sure that everybody is aware of what go what's going on, but at the same time that we still have a lot of work to get done to try to get BG back home. Next question, third row to your left. Um, it has not made it harder. <laughs> I mean, you know, when you have your mind set up, you know. And so I, I think I appreciate um, the love that I'm getting, which is kind of weird because I always shy away from it. Uh, but it's been, it's been comforting knowing that people do appreciate the things that I've done throughout my, my last 15 years in this league. And um. I'm looking forward to doing things with the WNBA when I'm done. Y'all not going to get rid of me that fast. <laughs> Next question in the last row center. Cheryl Rees holding her back. I'm telling you. <laughs> Minnesota needs you. To well, you know, she actually gave me a green light. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, Sylvia's holding her because Sylvia just got to leave. No. That was um, the play, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> that was the play. Yes. And they've been hyping me the whole time. And so I just was hoping that it went in because it was the first shot of the game. But I mean, getting out your comfort zone a little bit, having fun, I think that's what's most important about this weekend. Uh, next question, we're going to go to Zoom. Uh, Christos, if you would please, Christos, go ahead. Hello, ladies. Congratulations, first of all. Uh, I would like to ask you, Candace, how special for you was the, this All-Star game in Chicago, sharing the court with Seal in her last uh, All-Star game? And for you, Seal, how many more dunks can we expect from you until the end of the season? I, I can't answer that question, love. I, I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll answer it. Five. Oh, You're going to give us five more dunks. Oh, Lord. And uh, for me, just playing alongside side still has been amazing. Um, sharing the court with her and being able to, you know, give her her flowers and, and be able to celebrate alongside her. So it's been um, an amazing, fun weekend from practice to the festivities to now actually playing in the All-Star game. So I think Chicago did a good job of showing Sill how much we love her and appreciate for what she's done to, for our game. One more on Zoom. Gabriella, go ahead, please. Gabriella. Hi, this is for both of you. Um, I was just hoping you could talk a little bit about the young talent that you've got to play alongside this weekend, particularly in the many full time, all, first time all stars, as well as also, you know, folks like Ryan Howard, who are just a year into the league. What's it like playing alongside them, their game? Tell me more. It's fun. I mean, I like it. Um, I'm, I think I'm getting out at the right time because they run in too much. Uh, they're jumping higher, they got too much energy, and that's definitely not something I'm trying to do at year 15, but 
to see these girls and flourish and think about what they're going to be like in the next couple of years, I think it's going to be amazing. Um, they're going to do really good things by our league. I just hope to see everybody flourish in their own way. Ryan is a uh, beast. Yeah. Becky and I were talking about Ryan Howard and just how she's just different, like the way she moves, the way she pulls up. Like, I know there's little things that maybe the fans don't see, but like us players see like the spin she puts on the ball when she's laying it up, like she's different. I hope she's not different against us on Tuesday though. <laughs> All right, Candace, Sylvia, thank you. Thank uh, you. To our media, we'll have uh, Brianna and uh, Sue momentarily.